The Samsk Adab Gate or Samsk Sadabago Georgian, Samsk Sadabago also called the Principality of Samsk, Samsky Samtavro was a Georgian feudal principality in Zemo Kartli, ruled by an Adabeg Tudor of Georgia between 1268 and 1625. Its territory consisted modern Samsk Javakheti region and the historical region of Dauklarjeti. History Duchy of Samsk By the early 13th century, the members of House of Jakeli were one among many powerful marcher lords, and certainly not the most significant. The title Atabeg, by which the Jakelis would later be known, was as yet reserved for the Makargardzilis, the Armenian family that controlled Ani. The rise of the Jakeli line was intimately bound up with the Mongol invasion of Georgia. In this initial phase of conquest, most of the Georgian and Armenian nobles, who held military posts along the frontier regions submitted without any serious opposition or confined their resistance to their castles while others preferred to flee to safer areas. Queen Rusudan had to evacuate Tbilisi for Kutaisi, leaving eastern Georgia in the hands of Atabeg Avag Makargardzeli and Igerslan Bakardikeli, who made peace with the Mongols and agreed to pay them tribute. The only Georgian great noble to have resisted was Ivan I. Jakeli, Prince of Samsk. His extensive possessions were fearfully devastated, and Ivan had to finally, with the consent of Queen Rusudan, submit to the invaders in 1238. Taking advantage of Georgia's weakness, Turkmen incursions started to southwestern Georgia. The population of Dao, Klarjeti and Kola called on Kvarkvare, Lord of Samsk, to assist them against the Turkmens. Kvarkvare subsequently sent his grandson Sargas to seize Oltizi. Although an Arabic chronicler Baybars al-Mansuri states that the Georgians took advantage of the Mongol invasion of Anatolia 1243 to seize the castles of Babrawan, Washlawan, and Baybert. By the mid-13th century, the Jakelis realm thus incorporated most of the mountainous areas of northeastern Anatolia south of the Black Sea coast up to the edge of the plain of Erzurum. The Jakelis's lands became a stronghold of opposition to Mongol rule. Sargas I. Jakeli and David VII of Georgia Ulu, rebelled against their Mongol overlords. A huge army of Mongols led by Argon Noyan attacked the southern Georgian province of Samsk, defeated the king and his spasilar general Sargas Jakeli, but could not capture the rebels' main strongholds and left the country in June 1261. Nevertheless, the forces were unequal and David Ulu had to take refuge at his cousin, David VI Narin's court at Kutaisi. In 1262, he had to make peace with the Mongols and return to Tbilisi, effectively splitting the country into two parts with both rulers titled as kings of Georgia. <laughs> Establishment of the princedom By the Ilkhan request, David Ulu's army was dispatched to defend the fortifications of Siba against the Golden Horde in 1263. In 1265, the Georgian forces serving as a vanguard of the Ilkhanid army, defeated Burke, Khan of the Golden Horde, and expelled his troops from Shirvan. Sargas Jakeli distinguished himself in battle against the Horde, even saving Hulagu's life, for which Hulagu offered him rich rewards, including the city of Erzurum. David Ulu subsequently persuaded Hulegu to revoke that award on the basis that it would make Sargas too powerful. As a result of a dispute with the royal court, the province of Samsk seceded and submitted directly to the Ilkhan rule in 1266. Thus, Georgia further disintegrated to form three separate political entities. Samsk managed to remain a culturally developed part of Georgia as well as maintaining territorial integrity, sometimes even expanding along its borders. Yet the Jakelis proved to be far from obedient vassals. Despite being independent, Samsk still maintained some kind of relations with Georgia and Beka himself was given a title of Mandaturuhutsesi by Georgian king. At the time of Beka's rule, the Turks became more active the southwest borders, from the Sultanate of Rum. After a series of invasions, he managed to fend off the attacks. Beka was a supporter of maintaining Georgian political influence over the Empire of Trebizond. For this cause, he married off his daughter Jajak to the Trapezuntine Emperor Alexios II, who granted him Lazia. Another daughter of Beka, Natella, became the consort of Demetrius II of Georgia and bore him a son and the successor to the throne. 
After the execution of his father Demetrius by Mongols, future King George V was raised by his grandfather at his court. In 1334 George V of Georgia reasserted royal authority over the virtually independent Principality of Samsk, ruled by his cousin Kvarkvare i Jekeli. George granted the Jekelis their title of Atabeg, not only appropriate for their role in raising him, but also a title of great prestige. <laughs> Timurid invasions Between 1386 and 1403 Timur launched a series of campaigns against Georgia. The official history of Timur's reign, Zafarnama, represents this campaigns as a jihad. Samsk was in the front line of these attacks. Timur set out from Kars and assailed Akhaltik. From there, he marched against Tbilisi which the Georgian king Bagrat V had fortified. The city fell on November 21, 1386, and King Bagrat V was captured and converted to Islam at Sword Point. Bagrat was given some 12,000 troops to re-establish himself in Georgia whose government was run by Bagrat's son and co-ruler George VII during his father's absence at Timur's court. The old king, however, entered in secret negotiations with George who ambushed Bagrat's Islamic escort, and freed his father. In the spring of 1387, Timur returned in Georgia to take revenge, however Khan Takhtemish's reappearance in Iran forced Timur to temporarily withdraw. As soon as the Golden Horde was defeated, Timur returned to attack Georgia again. In 1394, he dispatched four generals to the province of Samsk, with orders to apply the Islamic law of Gaza i.e. the systematic raiding of non-Muslim lands. Timur launched a further attack on possessions of Ivan II Jekeli in 1399. The attack on Samsk was followed by an expedition into Dao that reached as far as Panaskert, where a great battle between Timur and the Georgians took place. In late 1401, Timur invaded the Georgia once again. George VII had to sue for peace, and sent his brother with the contributions. Timur was preparing for a major confrontation with the Ottoman dynasty and apparently wished to freeze the currently prevailing situation in Georgia. Thus, he made peace with George on condition that the king of Georgia supplied him with troops and granted the Muslims special privileges. Timur nonetheless undertook some preventive measures and attacked the Georgian garrison of Tortumi, demolishing the citadel and looting the surrounding area. Once the Ottomans were defeated, Timur, back to Erzurum in 1402, decided to punish the king of Georgia for not having come to present his congratulations on his victory. Ivan Jekeli, however arrived with gifts, which offered Timur a good cause for keeping on reasonable terms with the rulers of Samsk. <laughs> Turkmen invasions After the devastating invasions by Timur and subsequent enfeeblement of the Kingdom of Georgia, it soon faced a new threat. Timurid hegemony was not to last, for on Timur's death in 1405, the Kara Koyunlu re-established their empire. They took advantage of the temporary weakness of Georgians and launched attacks against them, apparently in which, George VII was killed. In response Constantine I engaged Turkomans at the Battle of Chalagan, in which he was defeated and executed. Alexander I who sought to strengthen and restore his declining kingdom, faced constant invasions by the tribal Turkomans. They sacked Akhaltik several times, the first under Kara Yusuf in 1414, the second under Jahan Shah in 1444, whose forces met those of Alexander's successor, King Vakhtang IV at Akhaltik, but the fighting was inconclusive and Jahan Shah returned to Tabriz. With the decline of the Kara Koyunlu after Jahan Shah's defeat at the hands of Uzun Hasan in 1467, the Aq Koyunlu became the major power in eastern Anatolia. Secession from Georgia The political split of the Kingdom of Georgia was speeded up by the Kvarkvare II Jekeli, like his father he fought against Royal House of Georgia for independence of Samstikeyi. In 1462 Kvarkvare II Jekeli called against the King of Georgia Uzun Hasan, the leader of the Aq Kwayunlu. In 1465 he defeated Georgian King George VIII at the battle near Paravani Lake and separated from Georgia. He also participated in the Georgian Civil War, after which United Georgian Monarchy fell. Kvarkvare's independent reign was marked by warfare with the powerful Muslim states that surrounded the principality. 
The AQ Kuyunlu launched major attacks in 1466, 1476 to 1477 and 1485 and from 1479 the Ottoman Empire started to encroach on the territories. In 1479 he ravaged the land around Erzurum, reducing the city to tributary status. Unlike his father Kaikosro I held peace with the other Georgian kingdoms Kartli, Kakheti and Imereti. Kaikosro with King Alexander I of Kakheti and Constantine of Kartli agreed to assist first Safavid Shah Ismail to destroy Aq Koyunlu rule in Persia, when Kavarkvare II's son Kaikosro I died two years after he ascended the throne, and was succeeded by his equally pious brother Mazechabuk. Like his father and grandfather, Mazechabuk demanded the separation of the Mesquitian Church from the Georgian Orthodox Church. Atabeg Mazechabuk strived to strengthen Samsk. He nominally obeyed Ottoman Sultan Selim I and with his help Adjara came fully under Mesquitian rule. In 1515 Old Mazechabuk abdicated and became a monk, received a monastic name Jacob. After Mazechabuk Atabeg's title would be given to his nephew Kavarkvare, the son of Kaikosro I, but Mazechabuk's younger brother Manachar rebelled against him. During his brief reign Manachar sent many gifts to the Ottoman Sultan Selim I and claimed himself as an admirer of Ottomans. In 1518 the new revolt started. Prince Kavarkvare with the help of Safavid troops attacked Samsk. Manachar was overthrown and Kavarkvare became the new ruler of Mesketi. After this Manachar asked his suzerain Sultan Selim for help. Sultan gave him the huge army. He had tried to restore himself as Atabeg, but was defeated by Kavarkvare's forces at the battle near Erzurum. During Kavarkvare III's reign Persian influence on Samsk was growing day by day. Because of that Ottomans greatly damaged the country and especially its southwestern region. Mesquitian lords had recognized that under Kavarkvare's rule Samsk would finally turn to the enemy's hands. They made an alliance with the Georgian kings, Bagrat III of Imereti and Luarsab I of Kartli c. to end up Jakelian rule and protect Samsk from dominant Muslim empires Ottomans and Safavids. In 1535 King Bagrat III with help of Prince Rostam Garielli and Odishian allies invaded Samsk. He defeated and captured Kavarkvare III at the Battle of Merjaketi near Akalkalaki. Georgians had annexed Principality of Samsk. Kavarkvare died in prison, while Rostam was awarded his share of Samsk, Adjara and Lazeti, long sought after by the Garielli dynasty. A few years later, Kavarkvare survived youngest son Kaikosro II requested Ottomans to expel Imeritian and Kartlian forces from Samsk. The Ottomans retaliated with a major invasion. Bagrat and Rostam were victorious at Karagak in 1543, but decisively defeated, in 1545, at Sokoista. Samsk became vassal of the Ottoman Empire. Kavarkvare III's descendants ruled Samsk Sadabago until 1628 and then Childer Islet until 1820s. <laughs> <laughs> Princes, Atabegs of Samsk